Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time we're going to do these trees again. <laughs> this is actually an old picture that I did a while ago and uh, I dug it out. And it was actually on YouTube, but there was some copyright claim against the bird song that I put on. So uh, I had to take it down. So I thought I'll paint it again. I did it with... Uh, I did the original with Conti crayons, actually. Um, but I thought, ah, I quite like it, actually. It's quite a nice idea. And I, I needed an idea. <laughs> so I'm going to do it again. Paint it again. So we had a nice blue sky. So I'm going to use a little bit of this cerulean blue up here and some ultramarine blue and some white we'll put a sky in get a little bit more water just so it will move a little bit better that's probably about right no that's nicer I like that I've got paint on me already <laughs> got yellow ochre all over the brush my goodness me. Doesn't take long, does it? <laughs> I just look at the paint and I've got paint on me. So we've got some good sized trees. I'm going to put some uh, blue sky. I might just paint in blue sky to get it going and then I'll just paint on top. I'll be alright. No problem there. Uh, In fact, there's some background trees, so I can paint them on top wet and wet, and let them sort of merge together. That could work. I'll do for my area, nice blue area. It will get a little bit darker as it dries, but it's not too bad actually. Looks quite good. Now I need a bit of a try and pick this up without getting paint on me. <laughs> I think I'll get some yellow ochre into my colour. This blob of white there. A bit of yellow ochre in it. A bit more blue. A bit of green. A bit more green. A bit more blue. I'm gonna make a background colour. That's probably all right. <clears throat> Having a drink. Drink. So I've got this sort of area. I've got background trees. Some of it's not quite mixed properly on my brush, but I'm all right with that because then you get different colors automatically when you don't mix it very well. <laughs> and you're picking different colors upon your, on your brush. It works out quite well. Get these sort of shapes, this background. Could add a little bit more of that bluey light. To mist out the uh, the bases, so I got myself some. Uh, well, I say got myself. I've had some for ages. Some air dry clay. And I'm gonna have a mess around and do a bit of a uh, sculpting. See if I can do it. I might video it. <laughs> might be fun actually. Bit of blue there. There we go. Just a back, bit of background material. Not too strong. A 
and I had a bit of a darkish base. Might as well try and paint it similar to the original. So I'm just grabbing some blue and brown. A bit of green in there. Green, bit of brown. Something like that, just to get the uh, gonna get a bit darker, I think. Bit darker, a bit more blue. Something like that. And that'll do for that for now. And now we've got some trees we want to put in. So I might continue using this brush. Because it's doing well so far. <laughs> It's all about the brush, you see. <laughs> so I just want like a dark, a uh, bit of brown, a bit of blue, a bit of the, I've got a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of burnt umber, a bit of, I'll show you, a bit of burnt sienna there, a bit of burnt umber here, a bit of ultramarine blue there, and I'm just throwing a little bit of that in because it darkens it a bit. There we go. So load both sides with your brush. <clears throat> and we'll start at the bottom. I've got um, a few trees here. One sort of leans there. It's a bit bigger at the base. You might find it blends a little bit with what's underneath, but you know, I don't really mind that to be honest. Because uh, when you're doing wet on wet oils, you get a little bit of that as well, so it's all part of the effect. <laughs> that tree it's quite narrow still that one goes behind there that's about right now right? yeah okay. there's another one here a bit smaller it's actually quite a thicker one though Maybe at some stage, that one there, uh, maybe the top broke or something. And then there's this one that leans, the leaning one. Quite thick as well, gets a bit thinner, there we go. And then over the other side we've got a Three, got three trees. So might as well put these in as well. This one's got a quite a huge trunk at the bottom. This one's like a double tree. So I've got one, who's like that, and then another one, who's like that. And then I've got another one that sort of leans, um, sort of leans out. Sort of goes like that. It kind of leans like this. Then 
Something like that. So that looks quite nice. Quite like painting trees, actually. <laughs> it's good fun, isn't it? So I'm just going to grab some of the same colours. The same brown and blue on a uh, smaller brush. She's using this... Uh, I don't really know what this brush is. <laughs> but it's a small one. It's just got a smaller... Uh, Smaller bristles, so you can uh, do like finer, finer arms to these trees. I used to have a brush um, that had like almost one hair on it. <laughs> it was a uh, a brush for models, making you know painting those models and stuff. It was like one hair. <laughs> Sure, what happened to that brush? So, when I did these trees, what I was thinking, I think they're, um, I know what trees they are now. There's these trees that when I used to walk my dog, um, there was trees like this. <laughs> I was thinking, I remember. And we'll put some of the, uh, the stuff on. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. You know, all the fern, ferny bits. It's not really foliage. Um, Evergreens, I don't know what it's called. But I'll put that on after I put in a few branches. A few branches in on this side as well. Have another one there. Another branch. Another branch here. Another one there. If you want to uh, paint along with these, uh, you could always go right to the end <laughs> and then uh, take a screenshot of what I've painted and then uh, come back to the beginning again and uh, someone asked me uh, if, if I do paintings that you've done and I follow along is it okay if I sell them and uh, yeah go for it that's what I said go for it we all need to uh, earn a bit of money out of our hobbies to pay pay for the materials at least Because otherwise you can't keep doing it. <laughs> well, you can. You just... Uh, Got to uh, be a bit careful with your monies. But it is a good thing. If, if you're thinking of selling a few of your paintings to help fund your hobby or maybe you're turning it into a business and you're following that along with my paintings yeah feel free to use them use your paintings i don't mind it doesn't matter that you got them from these videos to me because they're still your paintings i think that'll do Maybe I'll have another one. So I'm going to get some blue. 
mostly blue, but there is some brown in it. Mostly blue. I'm gonna have the light coming from one side, so I'm gonna put a bit of dark on this side. Coming down here, a bit dark. Cause that's what I did in the the first one. Might as well go along with that. That's a good idea. Mostly near the bottom part works for me. Just gives the trees something more, doesn't it? Having a bit of blue darkness on, on there. And it just tells the viewer that these are, you know, they're really cold down here. Cold and dull. <laughs> bit dark down there. Cold and dull. It's a bit like a uh, people that work in retail. They get really cold. <laughs> I'm talking from experience there. <laughs> Let's get some, uh, we want some warmth now, we want some warmth, gone, gone from cold, let's go to warm. So you don't add, when you think of warm, you get like yellows and reds, sort of sunlight. So I'm going to make myself a, uh, a light, a nice warm pink, <laughs> it's a bit of a warm, a yellowy pink that is. A yellowy pink and I have some light and it's gonna hit hit this tree just one side yes fantastic so get that light on there you can even put some on your twigs if you want to Yeah, we've got some light, got some light hitting there as well. It's getting a bit more there. This one's even getting a bit. Maybe this one's blocking some of the, the light and it's only getting a bit there. And there, some of it's blocked. And this one again is blocked as well, but it's luckily it's going in front now. That one is. That one's behind, that one's in front, this one's in front. Nothing's blocking this one. It's getting quite a lot of light. This one's getting some as well. There. Get some more paint. Getting some down there as well. And then this one. And there we go. Too bad. A bit more brown in there. And there we go. And now I'm going to start putting on some. Uh, they're not leaves. <laughs> Ooh, what are they? I don't know what they are. Never mind. We'll just uh, just make make up the shapes anyway. So I'm going to use some a green, but I'm using green and then blue. So use like a sap green or a viridian green. It doesn't really matter. And blew it down because these are usually quite blue. 
So, when I did the original, I used uppy type of stroke, so I was going like this. So I'll do the same. You can choose this, this is in front. This is coming out quite good actually. These do look like the trees. I'm glad I chose this one now. Because I was looking through for uh, frames and paintings that I'd done previously. And uh, I was just having a bit of a tidy up really as well. And I saw this painting and I was like, oh, I remember that. So that was a quite a good video. But unfortunately, like I said, I got made to uh, take it down. <laughs> yeah, well, I won't use any uh, copyrighted uh, bird song on this one. They won't take this one down. So this tree is growing right off the page. I used to be afraid to do that. <laughs> but you do get trees, you know, they they don't they don't go, well I'm only gonna grow up to here because this is the way your page finishes. <laughs> They're gonna grow as big as they want to. And that tree wants to grow right up there out of the page. No messing. Some of these would grow behind. So there we go. I really like these trees. Yeah, something like that. Break that up there. Fill that up. Just sit up, having a look. I'm going to darken the ground around these trees a bit more. Just so there's a bit of a shadow type thing. <laughs> Something like that anyway. And then, got some grass in front. Might use a bit of green and yellow. So got some yellow. Oh, there's quite a lot of yellow. And then uh, let's put some grass here. There's still some of that dark there, so that can mix in with what we're doing. So that's all right. I don't mind that. Something like that. And then... We had some bushes in one corner that are not getting that much light down here. So there must be uh, some trees there that are going to uh, create some shadow. I'm 
We'll just break that off like that instead. A bit of shadow there. I don't think I really need to put a, uh, a dark bush in there. Maybe, maybe I will. quite in the uh, light. Just break that up a little bit. bit Colour in it so it's not just dull. Something like that. I'll leave that um, yellow strip there because I've actually seen a place where there is a yellow strip like that. I just want to uh, smooth that over because I don't really like the way that's as spotty as it was. Yeah, that's a bit better. Strip of yellow. Warm that area back up again. <laughs> I did put a little person in down the bottom on my one. <laughs> I had uh, a little person walking, so maybe I can throw in a uh, a little person. Maybe somebody's walking there. quite small so don't want to put too much detail in there the head <laughs> little hands mm -hmm. it's uh it's Clive Powell Walking his dog. <laughs> if you watch uh, Clive, acrylic painter, Clive Powell, I think it's Clive Five Art, isn't it? <laughs> it's him. He's out walking his dog. Give him a little bit of hair. Now I need to uh, I need to paint a little dog. I need an indication of one. Maybe uh, maybe there. I 
That's actually much too big, but <laughs> my brush isn't really small enough. Can we pretend that that's a little dog? <laughs> Sort of doggy shape, isn't it? Looks more like a sheep dog though. But I'll do. A little bit of dark on it. <laughs> Looks like a giant squirrel now. So it's sort of dog like anyway. He's walking there on the uh on this part, so he's got a shadow there. It's just in front of the uh, the dark bit. Da -de -da -de -da. <laughs> there we go. We've got a sort of a shape of a dog there, isn't there? So I'm quite happy with that. I think I'll uh, call that one finished. I think I'm there. Yeah, uh, maybe. Well, maybe a few little birds up here. Maybe one bird just sat on there. Get a few in the trees. Hmm. I think maybe I should. Uh... <laughs> I know I said I've finished. Just a slightly lighter colour. Putting some slight changes of colour in 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 there. Not too much. I do quite like it. Just some uh, minor changes of colour, but I actually quite like that as it is, so <laughs> I think I'll call that one finished. So thanks very much for watching this one. If you've never painted before and you're looking for one that you could do, you could do this one. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.